What's poppin' t subs and T-Squad? What's good, friends? So, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. This is season 12, episode 6. So, a trash can and a felony sees is celebrating Lil' Man DC graduating high school. All right, he a grown, rusty-ass man now that's moving up out of his parents' house, and I'm to show he he happy that he is. Um, a trash can talks about how her and Samantha's relationship has gotten a lot better. She feels like she has a new friend now. I, I mean, does it really matter now? Like, little man DC is 18 years old. He overgrown and rusty at this point. Like, so, I mean, yeah, y'all may as well be friends now because, I, because I mean, he grown. <laughs> I mean, I suppose. So, trash can asks him, I did good as a couple. And then we segged away from that. Girl, we didn't care. Moving on. Uh, Freddy Krueger to ghetto meets up with Bambi to go and get their grills, get get some grills. Um, and she tells him about going down to Mexico and having sex with some girl named Brianna, who also just so happens to be from Atlanta, um, or whatever the case may be, and how she could possibly be pregnant. And Bambi is completely confused and befuddled and bewildered by that. And I get it, Bambi. Listen, I keep telling y'all, Zell is confused. Like, that's just weird to me because I think he around my age, uh, maybe a few a few years younger than me. But I think he's in his 30s. Like, I think it's just a damn shame when you're in your 30s still running around here playing the confused card. It's just, for me, I keep telling y'all, he gives the typical self-hating, self deprecating ass punk. Like, that's just what he gives. And, 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 and just willing to be laid up with Cootie Cat, and that ain't really what he, I, whatever. Um, because, girl, that whole thing, like, I, I'm just, we're going to get on that later. We're going to get on that later. Because I got some more for Brianna ass when we get there. <laughs> I got something to say to your ass, Brianna. Moving on. Amy meeting up with Ashley and Erica Banks for a workout session. She's telling them about her marriage status with Zane. And it's real funny that people that know this man don't know you, Ashley. Y'all giving Melo Melo and Destiny. <laughs> like, for real. Y'all giving Melo Melo and Destiny. Like, how you been married to this man for so long, but then people who know him longer ain't never seen you a day in their damn life. This your first time seeing any of these people. That's weird to me. Like, that's so weird to me that nobody there knew who you was, but everybody knows Zane, but they don't know you. That's so weird to me. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know. Do y'all is it just me that thinks that's weird? Cause that's weird. Anyway, um, Amy tells them what happened with Jasmine down to Mamie D's event. Um, listen, Amy, you riding way too hard for the prune juice, and y'all ain't even cool like that. Like, girl, she gave you a small little section of of, a, of an ambassador role down the press. That cheap ass shit that you could buy the, uh, that 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 comes from Ollie's, girl. Like, you just way too excited about it, and I. I I just want you to remember that you came up here with Mozzie being an artist. All right. I want you to remember that you came up here being an artist. You were supposed to be an artist. Your mom is your momager and all the rest of that. Like, how does your mama feel about you downgrading yourself to be an employee to the prune juice? Because that's what you are. Girl, don't nobody give a damn about those thrifty ass threads that you run around there with. I guess. Moving on, child. I could spend all day on Amy, and I won't. Trash King and the Felonices have a therapy session. Felonices don't wear his ring no more. They're obviously not on the same damn page, and Trash King and gets annoyed. And I got annoyed, too, because I believe every single solitary word of what Samantha and Erica said when, that, when they did that timeline special, Way back when that big fight happened on the stage between um, her cousin and Samantha and all that. And y'all remember they did that special? Y'all remember that? I believe every single solitary word of what they said. And I just believe that both of y'all are paying for y'all shit. That, that's just what I think. I just think karma done came back and karma is paying y'all a visit. And karma is doing what Miss Karma is supposed to do. That's just what I think. Because I believe a lot of what they said. 
Like you was messing with him while he was still dealing with Samantha and all the rest of that stuff, but you didn't give a damn. You felt like you was better than her and, and, and she was beneath you and he was going to get further with you and every damn thing else. And I mean, it worked. It worked. But now look at where it led you. It's called karma. I mean, it is what it is. We all got to deal with our karma. We all got to face it. Like, I mean, we really don't care. <laughs> Let me speak for me. I really don't care. All right. I really don't care. I remember when y'all came up here lying about being damn married the first time, starting all that damn ruckus and all of the rest of that foolishness. Like, whatever. Y'all don't have to fake no more because we just don't care about y'all. No like, we don't even want y'all on the show no more. So I agree with Felonices. Like, what's the point of faking it anymore? Like, I get it. What's the point of faking it anymore at this point? He's unhappy. He don't want to be with you no more. And to let the streets and Jasmine tell it, he run around there doing his own damn thing, bitch. That's why he ain't wearing his ring no more. Like, he... <sighs> anyway. So, Zell and this little girl, he's, well, she ain't no little girl, but she a dummy. Um, Bree, they have a date night. She, he tells her to go and piss on the stick while she pissing, he praying. And then we find out later on that she, that she pregnant. Brian, I refuse to believe that you had no idea that Zell is a pawn. Like I, 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 for me, and even when he told the story of how he ended up in Mexico, he came there with other punks to do what punks do down to the houses down in Mexico. And then he turned around. So it did what really got me was how you kept sitting over here talking about somehow you don't want to be just another baby mama and you don't want to have another baby out of wedlock and, and all of the rest of this shit. But you but you screwing unprotected. Anybody who fucking without a condom in 2024, in my opinion, you want you asking to get pregnant. So don't come to me telling me no shit like that. And then another thing you said that really dug me up <laughs> was when he told you that he was a punk. And in my opinion, he won't tell you shit that you didn't already know, but fine. But <laughs> for the sake of the seed, I guess. But then you gonna come out your mouth and say, well, so long as you protect yourself and you protect your health, bitch, he fucked you wrong. What are you talking about? Like what? <sighs> Brianna, girl, <laughs> listen, this, listen, I, I was fast forwarding through that scene because y'all was really wearing my nerve then, I swear. Y'all was tootsie rolling on my last damn nerve. Y'all really was. All right, the butterfly, uh-uh, that's old. Let me see you tootsie roll, but not on my damn nerve, all right? Because y'all was on it. Like, y'all can't y'all can't come to me, and I'm 36 years old, telling me some shit like this. Like, I, I, uh, <clears throat> you expect the other people to think more about your coochie than you do. When your coochie get the coughing and sneezing and wheezing, <laughs> and got laryngitis and all the rest of that shit, girl. And COVID occurred, though. Don't come, don't come cry to us, sis. Talking about some you don't want a baby out of wedlock, but you fucking wrong. You you want to be married first, but you still run around here doing bald headed whole shit. Like I, Diamonds Party. Well, before we get to Diamonds Party, um, Zell invited Jessica to drunk. She annoys my spirit. And Bambi out to go do a tarot card reading. Shout out to the tarot card. I didn't know Zell was an Aquarius. Girl, that make a lot of sense. I knew he reminded me of somebody. I ain't gonna say no names. <laughs> but when he said Aquarius, I knew I my head just went to one person. I said, Oh, that's why you seem so familiar. Hmm. Yeah, but that's it. He tell them about. Brianna dumbass getting pregnant by a damn sissy in 2024. Um, I, damn is party. So <laughs> Carly don't want to dance with the stripper. It was just Carly being Carly child. That that's all that was. Um, Ashley meeting the ladies again. How does everybody seem to know to know Liz Zane, but don't nobody know you? And y'all been married for what you said, 17 years, I think. I think it's I think she said she was 17 years, or was that trash can? 
10 years. I think they was 10 years, 11 years. I don't know. Y'all was together and married long enough that these people should know you. Like, I, I unless he's like R. Kelly and he was sliding trays under the damn, <laughs> under the damn stairs and up in the attic and in the basement or whatever. If he kept you locked away, like Marceau used to do Tisha around there to Huntsville. I don't, I don't get that. I really know. I like I, I don't I don't get how none of his friends know you, but y'all married. I whatever. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Um, Amy telling Trash Can about Bambi being married to T.O. Girl, we don't give a shit. Please move on from that, Bambi. I mean, uh, Amy, because we do not care. You and ba and Bambi were not friends. Like, I'm sorry, Amy. Y'all was getting to know each other, but y'all want friends like that. Like this wasn't a this wasn't a Mega Man and slowness situation around there to Huntsville. This wasn't that. All right, you looking for storylines, sis, and I'm gonna need for you to find a better one because Bambi and T.O., a nigga that you was with when when basketball wise season one was out. We don't care about that friend. I told you, we don't care about that. I graduated college in 2010, girl. That's when y'all was screwing. We don't care. Moving on. Um, Jasmine shows up with her friend, Erica. Carly pulls Jasmine to the side to talk, to try to figure out why she's trying to re reopen up old wounds. She shows Carly text messages. Trash can again needs to just mind her damn business. Like, I agree with Jasmine. Like you sitting over here trying to give her all of this advice and all of the rest of this stuff. And I'm like, girl, you got your own issues going on. Like your husband don't even want you. You in a marriage by yourself. You all up in marriage counseling thinking that y'all going somewhere. And every time you think you are, he pulls you back down to back to life back to reality like so you don't have no business and you don't have no time to be playing up in the prune juices business like you really don't you really don't i guess you practicing on what you finna tell man dc's hoes um, <laughs> i guess you fit a, i guess you practicing for that because i agree with jasmine find your life but like, i didn't get that because you set up there and put the battery and carly back to go and get information. And then when she's getting information, now it's too much for you. It's too messy. The prune juice is your friend. You don't want to be there and seeing nothing disparaging about three earrings and all that. Like, get off of your self-righteous high horse, girl. Because you told her to go over there and do that messy shit. So don't get high righteous and sit on your pedestal now. Because she got, she got proof to back it up. And now you don't want to be a part of it. But again, Jasmine, like I told you last week, I'm going to tell you again this week, you're not up here to make friends. Carly dead is not your damn friend. None of these people are your friend. Well, maybe maybe the B characters like, um, you know, Eric Banks. You know what I'm saying? Um, Amy too busy licking coochie because, you know, the prune juice gave her a job. So <laughs> I can't add her to this. You know what I mean? Um, but I, 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 I just feel like the, your sole purpose need to be to make them them work that's it don't come up here looking for friends don't come up here trying to find no friends don't come up here trying to get no friendship don't come up here for none of that that ain't your objective your objective is to drop the dime on three earrings make the prune juice look stupid like you've been doing clear house collect your check and leave and go take care of your child speaking of somebody has sent me a clip of kurt coming to um pick up pick him up because he was locked out of your apartment or some or something like that they said i don't know i really didn't pay attention to it like that jasmine but hop up into the comments jasmine and let me know what that was about y'all because I, I i didn't get the gist of it i didn't get the gist of it it was something about that he had to come and pick up cannon because you had cannon locked up out the apartment i don't know and then the people said uh, the prune juice was the one that was recording the video and the people was confused as to why they would call your ass. I mean, call Kurt and not you and all of that. Like, I didn't know. I ain't really understand it. Like, talk about it. And I ain't even bothered to try to. So if you watching, help me understand this because I ain't get that. But other than that, that's it. So I ain't got no more. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about. 
last night's episode of um Love and Hip Hop. And uh yeah, that's all I got. Y'all won't see me no more until Saturday night for Love and Marriage Hansville and back in hell. All right. So yeah, until then I'm gone. Bye. So tonight